exhibition is called History After Apartheid. And I would like to know for my own purposes what you consider history to be about after apartheid, actually. In my experience and opinion, um, a lot has changed since the end of apartheid, but there's still a hell of a lot that is yet to come to what it needs to be. The struggle for social and economic justice is more important than ever. Our people live in, in a even more impoverished state than they ever have. The gap between the rich and poor is uh, deplorable. Um, and although a lot has been done since the end of apartheid, I think that there's still a hell of a lot of work to be done, especially for young people. What the works actually represent is the documentation of a process of social intervention that has already occurred. So in the case of the, the monuments, what we've done is we've ascertained permission from three different government departments to go and cast these hands directly from the statues. In every single one of those cases, we've met with and spoke with a completely different public. Outside the High Court, where Von Ronda stands, we were met with the opinions of judges and lawyers, and some of which have, have been in the bar for decades. The surprising thing was how many people seemed offended by our casting of Von Brandes within a potentially negative light. The same with Paul Kruger. When we were casting Paul Kruger in Kruger's door, we had the Avi Beer come to us with fully on telling us get your hands off our hero. Um, so you see, on the one hand the work is a comment on the engagement of dissatisfied young people around the country in response to Roads Must Fall and the heritage debate that was actually provoked by Jacob Zuma's January 8th statement where he said that all the problems in our country started with Van Rubik. Um, and, and I think that's, that's a pretty important exception because he's our state leader and for him to go out and say actually we have a dispensation that is fraught with compromise that is questionable and that is not the thing set in stone that actually was, was a provocation for, for young people around the country to go out and do the same so as much as it's a comment it's also a real full engagement on ground level with these issues and, and trying to provoke uh, reactions on site leading on to this exhibition which was planned in advance for two years I moved to Johannesburg in order to immerse myself in, in the context in which this exhibition will show the city and um, I had been planning an act of vandalism on a series of monuments around the country with purple dye and the purple dye was a reference to the part of the technique of purple dye used to mark protesters. What my action at that point was to do was to symbolically mark these statues uh, as if they had just attended a protest um, against their own being there. Um, that's why when, when, when the Rose Must Fall campaign led to people taking red paint and white paint and green paint uh, onto statues all around the country, I sat there and I was thinking, wow, that's so serendipitous. But at the same time, that meant that what I had to do, and I suppose this was a moment of realization for myself in, in, a, in a way that I could never have, have thought about. But actually, what my responsibility is, is to not perpetuate, but rather to take these debates to another level to take them to uh, essentially a, a heightened space where, where, where I'm not just going out and expressing anger, expressing anger that is on the streets, but I'm actually taking that to an educational level. And the, the penny drop moment happened when, when, I, when I realized that if, if we show just the hands of these forms within a gallery space, deplinthed 
from the hierarchical position within our society. Then, for the first time ever, we'll be able to see our proportionate scale in relation to these huge figures. And within that showing the, the psychology of dominance that are inherited, inherent within these statues, and how that makes us feel perpetually inferior as Africans to this colonial heritage that, that stands before us and all around us and, and, and is unquestionable and untoppable.